Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we've got a really awesome device right over here, the Chromecast with Google TV, which has 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR, Dolby Atmos, but it's limited to only one HDMI output. So if we want to connect this to any audio system that doesn't have Bluetooth, because we can connect via Bluetooth if our audio system has, but in case it doesn't, which is very common, then we are limited to connect only to our TV. And if our TV doesn't have a great sound, then we will not be able to enjoy the audio quality that this device is able to transmit. And that is the solution that we have right over here today. This is an audio extractor and it's really simple. The way that it works is that we will connect any device, not only the Chromecast, it can be an Apple TV or any other device that has an HDMI output. We can connect it to the HDMI in and all of a sudden I will have an HDMI out with arc support and I will have an optical output or even a 3.5 millimeter jack to connect to any audio system that we want. Simple as this. Besides that, it will support up to 8K 60 Hz, so it's future proof. And right over here, we have 4K at 30 Hz, so it's more than enough. That being said, I will leave a link down below with all the specifications that the audio extractor has, because one important factor when selecting one is that we don't want to degrade the image. We want to keep the image quality of the source exactly as it is. And that is exactly what we will achieve with this audio extractor. Now, that being said, let's go take a closer look at it. Inside the package, we will find the audio extractor. In this particular case, it's the BKA1. It also comes with a power adapter and some documentation. It has a metal construction, so in terms of heat dissipation, this will be great. And besides that, in terms of durability, it follows the line of premium or a products, although it is a simple product and it will limit the limitation that we have in this kind of devices. It is well built. In terms of connectivity, it has an HDMI input, an HDMI output compatible with ARC devices, a optical audio output and a 3.5 millimeter output. It also has the power connection. Now at the front we will have the LED indicators, one LED for the arc and a button for the arc as well. There's also the selector for the ADID and a micro USB port. In terms of connecting this I already mentioned here but it's as easy as this and I will like use the Chromecast as an example. I will connect it to the HDMI input and then on the output I can connect to any TV and then on the HDMI output I can connect directly to my TV to my display besides that we can connect the optical output to our audio system or if we want to we can connect the 3.5 millimeter jack to our audio system so there are a lot of options right over here now that being said let's take a closer look on how it works in a practical example and now with a setup example for the Ore audio extractor BKA one link down below with all the specifications probably i have mentioned that but it's never too much and here we are with the google chromecast which as we have seen only has one hdmi output so we have no way of having audio to any other device that we have like a stereo speaker a soundbar or whatnot and in this particular case i've got connected an hdmi cable here my display has no arc support although it will work as you will be able to see but it will not take advantage of the arc technology that the Ore audio extractor is able to. We also have a cable here on the optical which is not being used but I could connect to any device via optical and I am using the 3.5 jack to connect to this soundbar right over here. Now the soundbar in terms of audio quality is nothing special but this is just to exemplify what we could achieve with any other soundbar. Here at the front we can see the LEDs turn on. This one means that the device is on. We also have the in status and the out status both on. Then we have the arc. If we have a compatible device with arc, if I press arc right over here it will flash and it will capture the signal and it will be steady but in this particular case it has no arc device so it keep on flashing because it's searching for the arc device 
So in this case, we can just turn it off and leave it like this. It also has the EDID and also the micro USB, which at this moment we are not using. So basically what we are accomplishing here today is passing the complete image quality that the Google Chromecast does and you can see down below in the video description with all the specifications so we are not compressing we are not damaging the image quality that the original device has we are only passing through and extracting the audio to a system that has a better audio quality now that being said just for an example if we go right over here i'm connected with the Chromecast and controlling with the remote if we search for a YouTube channel such as this one and if we press play at this moment we have no sound I can um, control the sound right over here on my remote and for example if I leave it at minimum and then I control the sound bar right over here and now if I go uh, and that is it we'll have on the system running now let's take a look at the screen and see how easy it is. So here we are on the Windows desktop. Ready there we go. So we have sound coming out um, to the sound bar, which is being extracted by the Ore Audio Extractor. So in this way, I'm not limited to the audio that we have on our TV, on, on our display, which in this particular case doesn't even have audio. So I would need to figure out the solution. If you are using Windows 11. And in this particular case, the solution was the Audio Extractor, which will give me the option to extract to optical or 3.5 or even HDMI arc and that is it simple as this basically we will lift the limit of only one hdmi output to one hdmi with arc and a optical output and a 3.5 millimeter jack so that we can connect to any device that we have even some older systems that usually do not have bluetooth connectivity that being said hope that you enjoyed the video hope that you enjoyed that we could bring once again the chromecast with google tv which is a awesome device although it has this limitation hope that you enjoyed the solution that is right over here so the link will be down below so that you can check it out if the video was helpful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen and if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please do so that you keep on receiving news and some tips like this one my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one